We'll, we'll leave it up to the gods to decide who gets the quote here. But let's see if he gets his first. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic World Alive. What's that? It's been such a long time that you can't even remember or don't even know why I'm making a video. Well, guys, the thing is, if I was to make a video on Jurassic World Alive all the time, it would be boring because it'd be the same thing over and over again, basically. But today we have something very different, something special, something amazing, something you love. <laughs> oh God, oh, it's all went crazy. Oh, oh, you know why that is? That's because they've just, we've just clocked over. Yep, we just clocked over. So we got new stuff to get to. Oh, attack, oh, I need that. Something I need more, more than I, th I think in this game. Unless you're going for a health tank or something that's fast. Majority of creatures, you get a little bit of health. You get a little bit of speed. And the rest is like 15 to 19 attack, basically. Um, and oh my god, I so desperately need attack. But we are going to get a level 30 apex creature. Are you excited? <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we're also getting another, hopefully a level 29 unique. Um, and maybe putting some boosts onto it as well. Um, and then I want to do some more battles. Because we need to do more battles. Uh, I've also switched my team up as well. So a little bit different. Not too crazy. Um, and also, I am now deciding that I, I'm just taking boosts off certain things. Uh, even though I take a hit of half of it. It's just what needs to be done. Or at least with creatures that I'm using. So moving them around on the same creature. I'm not going to be taking everything off Eutoranix, for instance. Uh, oh, 25, yes. I'll take that. As well as going over the calendar and whatnot. But before we go over the calendar and everything like that, was there anything else that you came around? Anything? Uh, I mean, if you're wanting Monolophosaurus, it's great at the moment because there's loads of mono uh, and not the disease. So if we look at the team at the moment. Some people will be thinking, well, it's probably a little bit unbalanced, isn't it? You've got a lot of, like, tanky things and a lot of swapping-y things. If I was to make a perfect team, I'd probably switch out a couple of things. I'd want Compi. I just want legendary Compi at level 30 with crazy speed, and that's what I want. I'd love that. I don't really care much for its uh, unique hybrid. Oh, God, did I click on something? I think I did. Yes, I clicked on you. Well, I may as well give you a pop. Hey-ho, why not? So, this guy... Not too bad. Uh, I like the if I'm faster and I can swap in it and something else is about to die, I can quickly, you know, when they try to swap out, I can do an attack on them and do some damage. I think really a great one for that would probably be the Spino Constrictor because then you stop them switching, I think, or something like that. Um, but I haven't really used it too much. It's just there to try it out. Uh, but the biggest one, a level 30 Hydrosaur Lux, which means we get to do one more boost to it. So... I think we gain another, ooh, 600, basically. 600 health. And as far as attack goes, we get 115 extra attack. It does cost a fair bit, though. But here we go. Oh, look at all that juicy health. And the attack goes up. And boy, how does it need it? Because it got, oh, it got nerfed. In fact, every apex that was used got incredibly nerfed. Uh, they all got vulnerabilities, they all got like stun chances and stuff like that. And their attacks mainly got nerfed. Uh, the biggest ones, of course, in the last update was Hadasaur Lux and Sino, or Sarah Magnus, I should say. We can put another boost onto this creature. Uh, we could put another health if we wanted to. I, like I said, I took all the speed off because there was no need for speed and we have 1700 speed. Unfortunately, I guess I could put more attack on, but we're saving attack for something else. Oh, you know what? I'll put speed on. Why not? No one really cares about, sorry, health. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. But the level 29 we're getting is hopefully this guy. Now, there was an incubator, a rare one that I went out deliberately to get because it had a 33% chance to get Nazudo in it. However, I got two rares and neither of them were Nazudo. It was like Draco Rex and something else that I didn't need. Um, but we only need one more pop. We got two of this, so, uh, yeah, we, there we go. We've done it. We've got a level 29. Oh, thank God. And we'll do another pop of you, come <laughs> there, There's the 10. There's the 10. Beautiful. Come on, Testicornibus. Now, I'm starting to boost Testicornibus. Um, I have put... What have I put on speed? I have put 70... Sorry, two, 2 on speed. And I've put 12 on health. 
And I am sort of just going for the rest on attack. I think that's just what you've got to do, really. Uh, so here we go. It's not the, the deer that I need. Oh, of course. Of course, it's 10. Of course, it's 10. So how much health do we get when we level up? We get another 301 health. And as far as attack goes, an extra 65 health. Ooh, okay, for 20 or oh, 200,000. Oh, Lord. Yeah, getting a level 30, this guy is now going to be really tough because I need 750. I don't even have enough beer for that. So I did have like 700,000 coin. Now I have 300 and odd thousand, which is a bit unfortunate. So with my new team leveled up, how about we take a look at what's coming up this week, even though it is a Tuesday and we're already part way through it. Let's have it. Is it Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday. Yes, let's go. So here we go on Monday, Tuesday, which is mainly the last day today. You got Sugamimus, Demetrodon Gen 2, Dilophosaur Gen 2, and Monolophosaur Gen 2. I think out of all those, Mono. You're gonna want Mono for Scorpius Rex, basically, I would say. Uh, otherwise, Demetrodon 2 actually has some hybrids and so does Dilophosaur Gen 2. I don't know about Sugamimus. And of course, today, well, if you. If, well, no point talking about Monday, really, is there? Uh, but today, of course, you've got the attack, the attack boost, which you'll need. Uh, Wednesday to Thursday, which is the res, you've got Dilophosaurus, Tijongosaurus, and T-Rex Gen 2. T-Rex Gen 2 being good for, um, what's it called, Tenotosaurus, which is, well, we're not going to show it because we're on this. Uh, and Tijongosaurus, good for Dio, or some other ones, I think it is. And of course, on the Thursday, the health. Now, on the Friday, you've got Ragisaur, T-Rex, and Sonosaurus. Now, this is interesting. Now, Ragisaur is pretty decent. Um, but Sonosaurus is now seeing quite a, quite a meta because of its counter vulnerability, which means that, you know, you get hit once, you make them vulnerable, and then you do your instant, uh, attack rampage reduction thing. Um, but Sonosaurus is not a good dinosaur to dart. So if you are wanting the ma majority of DNA, you're going to want to go for T-Rex or Raj. Probably Raj, because it's smaller and easier to dart. But if you've got all those, Sonosaurus has got to be your pick. Now, just like last week, this is also a good week. Uh, this is all about high HP, apparently, all these guys. Uh, Saturday has legendaries. Uh, you also get a, a emote, I think that is, or it could just be a, a name tag. Uh, so Saturday, you've got Anko Trochosaurus or Paramoloch. Paramoloch being good for, um, I can't remember which hybrid it is, but there is a unique I think that needs Paramoloch. I think it's Stiggy, no, not Stiggy Moloch. It, I don't know, either one of those does need it. And Anko Trochus, which is good for uh, another unique. Out of those, yeah, it's up to you. No, I don't really have one I need for them. I'm, I'll probably go for Paramore. I'll look into which one I need. And finally, the Sunday, a return of a unique. Because last week, it was Artenis Maxima. If we're going to be honest, I don't really see it used much anymore. Um, I say that. No, I do. I do see Artenis Maxima used. It's mostly health, and then it goes for, you know, it's classic, like, Rampage, slowing, and then it's shattering, whatever. Uh, but Sunday... A return to what was the meta to start with, which was, you know, Adonis Maxima. It is the Dilorachirus, or Dirachus. Um, one we have not seen used for a very long time. And one of my first legendaries I ever, or uniques, I should say, I ever maxed a level 30. Nice to see it back there. However, don't really need it, do we? It's not very good. Um, or at least I don't see any of it. Maybe it is good. Maybe people just haven't found a use for it. Uh, I don't know, maybe... There's a lot better creatures. But yeah, that's what it is. For It's up to you. I mean, of course, Dart it. Don't waste the opportunity. If I got. I mean, I darted on this Maxima, even though I got level 30. Only got 98. It was terrible. My darts were terrible on it. Uh, Dilo Kairos or whatever it is. Probably I'll get more. But anyway, guys, that's the news. Back to the video. Oh, of course, you've got the new raids that are around about here. The Glyptoceras, which is, again, I think the ingredient for... Who hit a wobbly head there? The ingredient for this guy is only something you can get in North America or something like that. It's something like that. It's the Americas, South America, North America, that kind of area. So I can't get this one. And I think it does have a unique as well. But with that being said, let's open up a, a, an epic incubator. How much does this cost if you were to buy it outright? Five thousand bucks is that there? and also yeah we had um an incubator that was 90 quid for um uh, 100 dollars whatever you want to call it and it was apex it was like 20 apex dna you do not need in any circumstances to buy that or at least maybe it was fifteen thousand. maybe it was a lot it was fifteen thousand bucks either way definitely not worth it this one 
I mean, it's just like, they, Lydia knows that people are so desperate and so in need. You, I mean, you can have a level 30 dinosaur, but if it doesn't have boosts on it, it's not going to get very far. So they know that. And now instead of allowing people to buy quite often, or almost every day it was, every day you could buy boosts, they've taken that and they went, okay, fair enough. We realize that we've oversaturated the market and the, the player base with boosts. We're going to take them away, but now we're going to lock them behind a paywall. So now only the people who want to uh, pay to win can get it, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I'll have a look to see if there are any. In my words, no. Uh, they've also put darts back in. The darts were for coin for the longest time for a whole year, and now they've put them back as a commodity that costs books. Don't know why they did that. Not a very good idea, I didn't think. Uh, keep it as coin. I mean, I get it. People weren't moving about much. They, in some cases, you had to stay in your house, so you could only use cents and incubators and stuff. But I will say, they have changed some things. They did not change back the Giga Sense. I'm very happy about that because Giga Sense are awesome. Um, this game, you know, if you want to go out and dart loads of dinosaurs, you can. But let's say you can't. Giga Sense, perfect for you. Yes, you'll only get a certain number of dinosaurs, but it's better than nothing. And sometimes you'll get some rares and some epics. So with that being said, let's open up you for a hundred bucks instead of five freaking thousand. Ophicodon, Iguanodon, Titanobogen 2, a Delta. Oh, it's a shame we don't get any uh, boost with this. That'd be quite good. Uh, Kenrosaur. And the final one of the most is a Kylosaur. Not bad. I'll take that. Oh, let's watch it. Well, no, we'll tell you what. We'll put it in the three hour. Uh, let's do some battles. See how bad I am. <laughs> oh, never mind. No, hold on. We need to collect this. Ooh, so we got level two and level one. The, the darts have started to slow down from people. Um, as you can see now, we didn't get to, you know, the second highest. And that's because I think everyone who was needing uh, Draco Rex has got Draco Rex to the hybrid. Or everyone who's needing Monolophosaurus has got the Scorpius Rex Gen 3. Maybe a lot of people were probably just wanting to unlock it and not max it. Um, and I think that's probably the case there. That's why we don't have as much. And I will admit, I don't dart as much as I used to. Because I've, I, you know, I got my Scorpius Rex Gen 3. So I don't need mono anymore. Even though I've got quite a bit. So if people ask for it, I will donate to it. Uh, one of these had some DNA that was very necessary. Maybe it was this one? No. That's it. 600 Nozudo. That's what we needed. Uh, Triceratops jog on. <laughs> and, oh, yes. And that one as well. Oh, we were so close to getting that. Oh, well, it is what it is. We've already got Model Orion maxed up. So we may as well just collect all of these and see how far we've got. I mean, it is Tuesday, so I'm expecting to at least get to the second one or even up to, uh, was it, the bronze. Yeah, there we go. We've almost got to the bronze. And I think the battles, do we get more of the battles? I'm really not too sure. I haven't been on this too much. Oh, there we go. There we go. Because, I don't know, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a bit of a... I want to go for other dinosaurs, or like the Spino Constrictor. I've heard that's quite good, and it's always been something like, it's a snake, yeah, that's cool, I want something different in my team. At the same time, it's kind of hard, because you need boosts for it, and you know, you know it's, it costs a lot of coin and all that jazz. But anyway, guys, let's have a look at 5,770 cups. Let's see if we can do any wins, shall we? Get any wins? Oh, God, probably not. Oh! Arena 12. Oh, what do we got? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Come on. Some good. Some good. <gasps> uh, I guess it's not too bad. So I still need to juggle the boost around my Mortem because it's it's all attack and eh, it's not good. Um, I was told that starting out with a uh, Tester Corbinus could be quite risky because a lot of people start with Mortem. But from my experience, they start with big tanks like Odenis Maxima. So let's not do that. That's what they go for. Yeah, speaking of big tanks, here we go. Speaking of the devil, the one that is seeing a big rise in pretty much every battle that I see. Schoonosaurus. Odinus Maximus are going extinct. And Schoonosaurus is picking up the flag. Now, what sets this guy apart from the rest... In fact, I've got this like ready to level up twice, and I haven't even got a Sonosaurus, whatever you want to call it, at level 20 or whatever I need it, uh, just because of the events and stuff we've had. Uh, recently, we got loads of DNA for it as well. Um, so there you go. He goes for his group decelerating. Now, what, is, what he might do here is go for his... Well, will he? I don't know what he has. So what, what the, the good thing about this guy is he has a counter that makes you vulnerable, but fortunately, I am not vulnerable. Ha ha ha! Now, what he's gonna do here, I think, 
is... Oh, look at that. Look. Oh, it's so satisfying. I'm basically on full health. Uh, do you think he could go for instant group or he could go instant invincibility? I'm going to go for a safe little hit. Expecting him to go for... Ah, ha, ha, you fool. I thought you were going to do that. But either way, uh, even if you went for... Um, the reason why he did that was I could have went for my Devastation, which does a lot of damage. Now, it was up to him whether he goes for in Invincibility or lowers the attack. And obviously, he was like, the safest choice is Invincibility, because, you know, whatever happens here. However, now he's probably going to go for the instant, you know, attack. Oh, he doesn't! Okay, okay. He's, re he's re resetting his strat. He's probably going to go for the decelerating one now, I think. Um, oh, we got a crit there. What's his chances of a crit? It's got to be like 5%. Oh, 20%. Well, that's quite high. 20% chance for crit and 30% armor. That's really good. And the counter. Okay, so he does that. Now, uh, I could... I am tempted to just go for it here. Oh, he played it very well. I was thinking what I could do is go for my, um, my digging. And I would have done that um, if I wasn't, you know, trying to be a little bit clever, which I was there. <laughs> so, unfortunately... We don't hit him with the full amount that we could. But now we're just going to go for a dig in um, and get more health. Now, I think we've won this encounter. Now it's whether or not he wants to swap. Whether he wants to get me low enough that even with a swap out, he... Um, I'm faster than no matter what. I don't think my speed can be reduced. Um, oh, look at the health. Yes. I want him to switch because then I get even more health. Now, he probably could go for an invincibility here. Um, let's say. Yes, he's probably done it. Yes, I thought so. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so, he's actually playing very well. He's, he's negated one of my devastations. And also halved the attack of his devastation. Oh, he's got a lot of crits as well, I will admit. Uh, we've definitely still won this. Um, I'll go for the cleanse. I mean, it cleanses myself, so no matter what here, it reduces his speed. Now... He will probably go for his instant uh, attack reduction. Now, I, I'm playing his sort of mind game here. Uh, he's probably going to expect me to go for a devastation here. Um, so finally, he does a big hit. I don't know why he didn't do that before. Um, so we'll get some health. And now what I'm going to do is go for dig in. Because I think he's either going to switch or he's going to go for his you know, instant hit. And I think he's probably come for his instant hit. So we gain how much health here? 1,300. Oh, he didn't! Interesting. Okay, so I guess no matter what, I would have killed him uh, if I went for my devastation. But at least this way... There we go. We're doing some... Now, does he have invincibility? Sorry, I do half sentences all the time because my brain's switching. Um, now, cooldown's two, so he definitely has his invincibility. So, sod that. We're just going to switch and kill him. Because he'll go for his invincibility here. 100%. He'll go for it. So, at least we've got some health. And, you know, dug in, dig in, half his attack, gain more health, and then switch out to kill him. So, we've got health on our tester. Um, now, my model Ryan is really quite speedy. Um, unless something's designed to be fast, it can mainly outspeed things. Like, this thing's probably really fast. Um, Andrew Sarkis, that is an interesting choice. Um, so I'm assuming he's probably going to go for his fierce attack here and do 2,400. So I'm just going to... Oh, oh, and he gets a crit as well. And lovely, lovely. Um, now, he it's dead. It's 100% dead here. Because um, it can cleanse itself, yes. But a rendering takedown? Um, I'm immune to it. Well, not immune, but it definitely does only a quarter of what it should do, I think. Um, so, yeah, he's probably going to go for a swap. He has his own model of Rhino! <laughs> oh, dear! That's not a good switch for him, actually. Um, because not only am I going to do a big hit here with a definite impact, but I'm also going to do another hit afterwards and then survive his hit and then kill him. So, he's just fought it off his model of Rhino, and I guess maybe for his Andrew Sarkis. In fact, let me think about this. I might want to save my model of Rhino, um, even though it's not quick enough to outspeed Andrew Sarkis, it could still get a good hit off. Uh, unless I've got something quicker. No, Tester Corbinus. Uh, oh, no, I got my Hadrosaur looks. What am I worried about? Hey, 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 he's lost his model around him. So it's 2 nil down. He's still probably going to get one or two KOs here. So let's have a look. What are we going to do here? Um, so I am very tempted to swap to Hadrosaur looks, do a counter, and then swap back to Monolorino. That's what we're going to do. Maybe we can get... Oh, 
Well, I, I think I'm able to switch out, yeah. <laughs> I think so. Actually, oh, I don't know if Hadosaur is. I don't think Hadosaur is, actually. Okay, so how much damage is that? Right, okay. Um, so we do that. Oh, we can't kill him in one more hit. Uh, oh, no, we can. Never mind. He, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, just going to go for heal. Um, I guess you could go for a cleanse hit, I suppose. Um, it's probably the safest bet. No, he doesn't. He's happy to take the three, three nil loss. Okay, fair enough. Well, there you go. A three nil victory. That, um, I get, he just didn't have anything to take out my, um, my testicorbinus. He didn't have a mortem or a Thor or anything to just go through, you know, armor and just KO it. So that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, let's try another one, shall we? Here we go. Let's see what we got. Anything good? Oh, it's almost the same team, except for this time, instead of Model Rhino, we have Sarah Magnus. And instead of Tesco, Testa Corbinus, we have the, the killer bird. Um, is there a safe opener here? I guess we could go for Mortem, and then no matter what, we could probably switch in and kill something. Oh, and a Dundas Maxima! Now, this would be really good if I had boosted my... Uh, oh, oh no, it's actually perfect. I thought if I had boosted my, my Mortem the other way around, make it more speedy, then I'd be guaranteed to go first. However, um, no, he hasn't boosted his Ardentus at all. Oh, uh, I guess. Yeah, interesting. Oh, we didn't get a crit. So, Ardennis has no armor, but 30% crit. Now, I'd rather trade 20% armor. Oh, sorry, 30% armor and 20% crit than 0% armor and 30%. Just, you know, matching it. Oh, he's probably going to switch in Sarah. Oh, his model rhino might be able to just kill me. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Oh, yes. He's definitely got no speed on it at all. He's got a lot of health. Right. Okay, fair enough. Now, I guess I could have seen that coming. Um... What's a good switcher here, do you think? Um, I'll go for Hadrosaur. I'll go for Hadrosaur. I'm not quicker, so he's probably just going to do this shield. I'm expecting. Uh, now, his speed's 126. If I reduce it, what's his resistance to the speed reduction? Uh, 75%. So I don't think it's going to make a difference. Even if I reduce his speed, um, I'm not going to be faster. So, yep, I, as expected. Um, at least this way, I can do, like, two big hits. Um and get two counters off, and then go for a Healy. Um, uh, it would be very unfortunate if he has something like a Sarah Magnus as well, but even then, he can't kill me with the switcher. Normally, he would be able to. Before an update, or the last update, a Sarah Magnus could kill me here with that switcher, and 2,700, I think, is the max it could do. So we'll go for a heal here. Um, I mean, best he can do is, like, his shield again or something else. Because he can't do as big as I said. He's really thinking about it. He's wondering. He's wondering what to do here. Um, obviously, he doesn't want to fodder off his uh, Monolo Rhino. So there's the shield. We're restarting. And he gets a crit. Interesting. That's kind of not what I wanted to happen. Uh, okay. So we'll go for a Rampage here. He's 1-0 up, which is a bit unfortunate. It puts me on the back foot. Um, and he gets a crit for that as well. If we're 25% chance here. What? Oh, fine. 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 Whatever. Whatevs. You know what I mean? It's like, oh god. So, we have enough to kill him now with a Sarah Magnus or an alert rendering lockdown. Um, I'm kind of tempted to just go for it. He resists it. Um, now, I, actually, I don't even know if this is going to kill him because he's got a shield up. <laughs> it was very close. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. Oh, 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 okay. Spino Constrictor, level 30 and boosted. Oh, dear. Um, so he, he does have his precise rampage, which can kill me. Um, so I might, I can't risk it. I just have to go for a hit. Just have to do it. Because um, he's going to kill me in one hit either way here. Yeah, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to live to see that, man. Uh, <laughs> no, no boosts on my creature. Unfortunately, because I'm still testing it out, and I, I don't really know if it does anything. I've got to, got to admit. Um, so when I switch out, it does 2,000 and odd damage. Um, so I think I've just got to do this. I think I've definitely lost this one. I don't think there's any way to really come back. Yeah, I'm gonna take a, a wound here. I am gonna kill him, um, but he's gonna do a lot here. I think that's a like a bad wound as well. Oh, no, it's a minimum, but it's still taking effect. And, yeah, Thordor, yes. Yes, it's not looking good. Um, I think he's going to kill me in one hit, yes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ooh, if I go for a, a, a stun, 
And uh, he, like, he attacks me, I survive, I go for a stun. And then I switch out to Hadra Solo to go for a thingy, but nah, there's no way. There's no way. Oh, just a, you know, just what? We give him one, two, three, four crits there? Thanks. I'll, I'll take the loss, yes. Give, give the opponent four or five crits, whatever it was, and also take away the max amount of cups. Thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, final battle. Let's see what we got. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what? I'm going to start with Scorpius Rex. Maybe it's not a great opener, but normally they start with health tanks. Oh, God, they don't. And he's perfect counter for me. He's immune to bleed and rendering. Um, ah, that is not so good. Um, how much damage do I do? 2,200, 4,400. I'm just going to go for... I'm just going to go for... <laughs> I guess I could go for Sarah Magnus, but I'm wanting to save that. I think Sarah Magnus is more valuable to me in this circumstance because I have two fast creatures. I have the Utaranix. Oh, you fool. Why did you do that? I thought he was going to go for nullifying in case I went for, you know, my, my thingy, but he, he didn't. He really didn't. Okay. Uh, so, yes, he'll go for his biggest hit here and he'll kill me. Yeah, yeah. And, and, of course, he gets a crit. Will you eat? Stop, game. Give me some crits. I need some. Uh, so we'll go for Utaranix. Now, what's going to be good about this is, um, he's only going to be able to do a nullify. And I do have, like, 20, I have 10% armor. I think that was from 5 or something ridiculous. Uh, I'm within a safe range, so I'm not going to be killed by a swap-in from a Sarah. Um, so we'll see what happens here. I'm pretty quick still. Early Dominus or, uh, sorry, early Spix or something's not a good counter for me here. Uh, right, this is good. Now, it depends what he does. I think he's probably gonna go for his cloak. Oh, he's... Okay. Um, I mean, he's just shown me he's got Sarah Mag... Oh, what a cut! Blood! Bugger off! Oh, bugger off! Oh, okay. Um, I was expecting him to go for a... A shield? Like, that probably would have been the, the best situation. Okay, okay. So... I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I, if I win this, it's a miracle, really, it is, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't win this, he's being, oh, now you do the group shield, you should have done that before, knowing that I was going to do a rampage and run, and that way you would have, like, 50% of the health you just lost, and this wouldn't have killed you, although it didn't anyway, uh, I suppose, <laughs> are you wanting to swap out, is, is that it, um, should I do... Should I go for the the Rampage? Just in case he switches in to Indominus Rex? Or... Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Scorpius. Oh! Oh, okay. Um... Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I did a good play there? Uh, kinda? Not really? <laughs> What's his speed? 117. Um... Ooh. Ooh. I don't, I don't know what to do here. Um, I'm going to go for this. And then he's going to go for his... Oh! Okay. Right, is he faster? He's not... Oh, God. Oh, damn. I clicked it before I saw... <laughs> oh, no, I clicked it before I saw that he was faster. I, it was me that was faster until it changed. And I'd already clicked it at that point, basically. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Uh, right. I mean, there isn't much I can do now. Um, I've pretty much lost. Should we try and psych him out? Ah. Uh, it doesn't really make much of a difference because he's, he's going to go for his piercing. Then he's going to go for a speed priority. And then I'm dead. Um, yeah, we'll just quit this one here. I've died. Um, and he, he's gonna go for the thing. Uh, would, would you stop giving them crits? That's... Oh. Oh? I mean... Oh, stop! St ah! Alright, well, here we go. We'll do another one and start with testing. <laughs> that was horrendous. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, look at our Deadness Maxima. Yes, we can do this one. This one's this one's in the bag, kind of. Not really, um, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, the problem with our Deadness, actually, is that it can go through armor, um, which is a bit of a problem with 
tester because that's the one thing it's got going for it. Is it's armor, it's healing, and it's shield. Um, so he's going to be able to do a boatload of damage here. Um, so what I will do is just heal up. Heal up! Just, just before the hit. Because it's about to come. And it's going to do a lot of damage. Just, do, just get as much health as possible. Just so it doesn't leave me weak enough that something else that comes in next can do, you know, switch in and I get my health and can also kill me. So we'll go for a big hit here. Mm -hmm. Let's see how well this does. 4,104. Now he's going to... Oh, he doesn't have his uh, stompy stomps back. I forget. Yeah, it's two turns. The cooldown's two for that, isn't it? So we get some health here. I think the other one's not, though. I think that's just a cooldown. Oh, it's cooldown of two. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. So, I mean, if we, if I got lucky and I got a crit on something, uh, maybe two even, he would be dead now and I'd be in a good position. But at least he's not getting crits because I think he's got a higher chance of getting a crit. So here we go. I got some health here. Um, now, there's no point him switching out. I mean, I guess he could. I'll go for Devastation in case he does switch out, but he didn't. Um, and that's all right, because really next turn, I was going to go for Digging. Um... Oh, am I faster? No, okay, that's that's not too bad. Now, what do you think are the chances of us switching to Model of Rhino and getting a stun off? What do you think? And what's his attack when he's got his biggest hit? Uh, I think I'm I think I'm happy actually following off Tester when it's got this much like lower health. It's a it's it's a tough situation. So what we'll go for? We'll, we'll leave it up to the gods to decide who gets the crit here. A 30% or a 40%? You think me right, but let's see if he gets his first. I don't- I didn't need that crit. I didn't need that crit. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. You gave me a stun on something that has 75% chance to not get a stun. Or 67% chance. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, uh, you can't get through the shield, though. Of course. Well, he's got a higher chance, I suppose. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, come on, not two crits in a row. I was going to say, don't you dare do three crits in a row. <laughs> Wait, what's his attack? 1,900. Let's do this. Okay, so we'll do a shield. Then we'll switch back. Yeah, there it is. Oh, and another crit. <laughs> As if it wasn't enough already. Yeah, then we'll switch back to this. Oh my god, are we actually going to win this? No way are we actually winning this. It's not happening. <laughs> come on. It can't happen. So there it is. And then we get ours. Ooh. I think we might win. Oh, wait. Yes. You know, we might We might win this. We might win this. I'm really not too sure. Oh, I think we have won. No way. I went for instant view. You fool. Really? Come on. I mean, what was going to happen there? What was going to happen? Um, now, the thing is, I could switch... Yeah, I was thinking he was going to do that. I could switch to Model Rhino and get a stun off. But he could end up not getting stunned. And wow! Wow! What a roller coaster of a ride that one was. Do I get a 30? Oh, I got 32 for that. Brilliant. And I'm one cup lower than we started. Isn't that just exactly what you want from Jurassic World Live? Well, guys, if you enjoyed that video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cutie beaver babies later. <laughs> oh, bye-bye.